Connie from The Painted Photographer. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Here's another quick craft for you using DIY paint and IOD products. We're using farm animals, IOD stamp. We're also using Jamie Ray Vintage grain sack stencils and the Jamie Ray Vintage stencil brush. So get your supplies at thepaintedphotographer.com. I took the sheep from the farm animal stamp and I positioned him on the bottom of the board. This board is an eight by 10 and uh, you're going to want to put the IOD ink right onto the stamp and turn him over and stamp him down. Make sure that you do not wax or seal your paint. You want dry paint. And you're gonna lightly press to make sure you get all the detail from that image. Next, I use the greenery from the Queen Bee set, but you can also use the Wreath Builder. All of these stamp sets can be found on thepaintphotographer.com. I stamped the leaf set right underneath the sheep, kind of giving his feet somewhere to land. Now you're gonna to want to take that mask that is included in your stamp set. You're gonna put that mask right over top of that sheep. And I use some painter's tape just to tape it down so it didn't shift around while I was working on my project. So painter's tape right on the two edges that are not even gonna matter. Position it as good as you can and that, that will protect your stamped image from the next step. Next, I have the Jamie Ray Vintage Green Sack Stripe, and I position it right over top of the sheep in the middle of the board. I eyeballed it as best I could, and uh, I needed to turn it sideways to make sure that I got it as good as I could. Okay, so I don't trust myself. I did get out my tape measure and make sure that Green Sack Stripe is pretty much in the center of the board. And then I went ahead and taped it down with the painter's tape. I use the DIY Apothecary. I like that soft French country look of this color. And I am going to use the Jamie Ray Vintage stencil brush. This is the best stencil brush I have found. You put a little bit of paint on it, pounce it off just a little bit. I use the cover to pounce it off and get most of that wet paint off. And you just want as dry of a paint on your brush as you can. So. Go ahead and I hold this stencil down because it's a bouncy stencil because of that thin um, stripe that you have there. So I hold it down with one hand and I pounce over top of the stencil. I don't swirl because of this narrow edge that you have on this green sack stripe. And I'm trying to go over that branch as lightly as I can. I did not mask off that branch. You could if you wanted to but I just tried to go over it as lightly as I could. And again, that sheep is masked, so you can go over top of the sheet, because sheep, because your paint will not go on top of the sheep because of the mask that was included in the IOD stamp set. I decide to go over the branch because I have a plan. The branch, it's it just wasn't right for me, so I have a plan and I decide to just stencil right over top of it. Okay, so here's my plan. I just took that branch set, stamped it again, and went lightly right 
put in the stamp exactly where I had it the first time and just lightly pressing on that area that I stenciled. Voila, it's fixed. Now this is the Jamie Ray Vintage Grain Sack Logos and I'm going to position it over top of the sheep, taping it down with painter's tape again and doing that same stencil look with the Jamie Ray Vintage stencil brush. I had used Apothecary the first time and now this time I'm using Little Black Dress. So I just, I didn't wash my brush out because you don't want your brush to be wet. So I just wiped out as much of the Apothecary paint as I could get and went ahead with a little black dress. Now I'm going to use the IOD Crackle stamp. This is a 12 by 12 stamp, and I am using the gray ink, so it's just a little bit lighter than the black. And I'm going over that entire stamp set. You don't need to know if you're doing it perfectly or not. You like the variation of the crackle on there. You lay the whole thing right over top of your project, and then you're going to lightly, 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 lightly just put your stamp on there and you'll have a slight crackle look, which is gonna give it that nice French country feel to it. Now I wanted those edges to be dark, so I just took my IOD stamp pad with the gray ink and I made those edges dark with that ink. It's the fastest and easiest way to distress a project. It's just using the ink, it works perfectly. Finish the edges with Little Black Dress. All right, we're gonna clear wax it. I have my wax brush. You can find this on thepaintedphotographer.com link will be below. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of DIY clear wax and put it on the board. Now I wanna age it up. So I'm gonna take dark wax, put a little bit on my wax brush, and tap it off. Kind of like stenciling, just tap it back off again. Then I'm, as long as I have a clear wax on here, it lets me use it as a barrier. All right, it's all dark wax. 
Now you're gonna take a piece of paper toweling. I didn't go in the center because I want this to have like a depth to it. So my center is going to get a little bit of dark wax on it, just, or just from buffing the dark wax. There are so many variations you can do with this. I used the bunny. I messed up. This is where the grain sack is running through him. I didn't like that. So make sure you mask off your bunny. This is the one we did in this video. And here's another one. So there's all kinds of variations for this French country look. And this stamp is amazing. So if you need any products, please head on over to thepaintingphotographer.com. Thanks friends for watching. Until next time, happy painting.